We just left the hotel room or Airbnb. We're doing a full day itinerary thing with uh, basically a lot of temples and nice paths with cherry blossoms. Assuming that they're still in the season. It's technically her birthday in Japan. I don't know when it really counts. She was born in the Philippines, so I think they're more closer to the same timeline. So I guess technically it's her birthday today. <laughs> Happy birthday! Two, bir two birthdays? What the hell is this? Yeah, tofu. It's just tofu, like skin stuff with rice. Yeah, all sorts of. Oh, a shape of fish. So we got some. Yeah, it's a little, just a little snack. It's not gonna do much for me, but not bad. It was still like it was only like 800 yen. Yeah, it's about 800 yen, but I'm getting hangry. We still have a lot of walking today. What you got, baby? Mango, mochi, with got there baby looks like takoyaki what's in it what? careful it's probably gonna be molten lava inside How's the cheese complement with the, the roll? It's good?
just left the Kodaiji Temple and we're walking over to the Kiyomizudera Temple and in order to get there we actually have to walk through the Higashiyama streets and it looks pretty cool we just got to the Kiyomizu Dera Temple we're gonna we had to rush through we had a little too much fun inside of the Studio Ghibli store we're gonna knock this out because they close in half an hour uh, once we finish this up we're gonna walk around the Higashiyama street there's so much to see there walk to Daiso near our Airbnb and check that out. I am kind of curious to see how similar it is in comparison to the US Daiso. I feel like it's gonna be the same. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be the same because if you look at all the products at Daiso, it's all imported from Japan. For dinner, what do you want to do? Pasta show again? Or do you want to go somewhere? Yeah? Yeah, let's do pasta show, but let's do the left side. Uh, not the, the, maybe not the riverside because I didn't really pay attention to the other side since we wanted. Yeah, we paid uh shit, we paid we paid $150 yesterday. It was cool, it was good. It wasn't melting your mouth good. We're leaving the day after tomorrow. Uh, and before we're heading for Osaka, but before we get to Osaka, we're actually gonna check out of our Airbnb early and head over to the Kobe Prefecture to get some real Kobe beef from the Kobe Prefecture. Yeah, and then once you finish our $170 lunch, <laughs> then we're gonna head to Osaka, check in, and then probably eat again in downtown Bury. Yep, get some crab legs and all that good stuff. We are very, very hungry. Uh, we ended up going to the, the Kirikyu Hiro uh, spot, but apparently it's all booked for the day. So we're just looking anywhere for food. We just walked anywhere we wanted to eat. So we came across some uh, beef katsu place. So we're checking that out. I'm gonna go eat some beef katsu and call it a day. We have walked about over 60, we walked about 16 miles today. 32,000 steps. Yes. Tired. Tired. Very hungry. We didn't really have lunch. We had a little bento box. No, not bento, we just had two pieces of sushi. Counting down right now. How was the katsu? So we got the wagyu beef katsu. Oh, I'm not sure it's wagyu beef, but it's beef katsu. Uh, you dip it into a soft boiled egg, which I just beat. I got my beer because it's vacation. I guess you drink a beer pretty much with every meal. And time to chow down. Finished with dinner. We are very tired. Very, very tired. We walked over 16 miles. I'm so tired of that. I'm literally like squinty eyed status right now, and not because I'm Chinese, but just because I'm tired. The beef uh, katsu place was actually really good. It was actually really good. It was just a random spot that just a random spot that we decided to check out. But yeah, anyways, we're gonna walk to Punta Chola and get back to our room and call it a night. So good night.